Reds is inbounding. Inbounds gets away and stolen by Keaton Page. Page goes all the way down the floor to the goal. Layup, go. Oklahoma State has seen success with head coach Travis Ford, now in his third season with the Cowboys. They've made the NCAA tournament each of the past two years. To make it for a third straight season, Ford says the team has the ability but must improve in one area. We just got to get mentally tougher. Uh, we got some uh, pretty good physical tools, but we've got a lot of inexperienced players who are going to understand how hard you have to play on a consistent basis, night in, night out, to compete uh, in the Big 12 and uh, at, you know uh, at the elite level. Um, and you know that's that's going to be a challenge for this basketball team uh, is to develop that mental toughness, uh, develop the experience. We've got a tough schedule early, a non-conference, so I think that might you know we might take our bumps, but I think it could help us grow up and, and, and understand just how difficult it is. He says it's not clear who yet can replace 2009-2010 All-American and Big 12 Player of the Year James Anderson. You know, no one on our team has ever uh, had to be the man. Uh, there's nobody that's had the spotlight just on them. Uh, so this is going to be new to some of these players who we're going to ask to step up and uh, take the load of scoring, load of leadership. and. You know, uh, depending on how, how great the leadership is, depending on how much we improve mentally as far as our toughness, uh, we'll determine what type of success this team will have. One candidate could be junior guard Keaton Page. He's averaged more than 30 minutes per game this year and about 15 points per game. This is definitely, I mean, we're a faster team this year and I think much more like improved athleticism as well, as well. We've got some freshmen that came in that are tremendously athletic. Uh, two JUCOs that came in that can really get up and down the floor. So I think that's going to be our strength is our athleticism this year and being able, like I said, to being able to press and uh, cause some, cause some uh, trouble on the defensive end. Senior guard Nick Sidorkis says Anderson's production can be replaced, but it'll take time to fill the void in one particular area. Our toughness, uh, both mentally and physically. Um, um, I think we got the pieces uh, to put it together and to be a really good team. And uh, we got people that... Um, can rebound, uh, athletic people, um, people that have an, a knack for scoring, Keaton, uh, Marshall, um, a new aspect of our team, JP, uh, Oma Kimmy, and um, um, some really skilled people. So uh, I think we got the, the potential to fill that, but um, what James left here is, 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 is it's hard to fill. So far, the Cowboys are off to a hot start. Their only loss coming to Virginia Tech by five points. Senior forward Marshall Moses is looking like one of the Big 12's best so far, averaging almost 19 points and 9 rebounds per game. The Cowboys open Big 12 play at home against Kansas State on January 8th. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Brian Mortensen.